Welcome back to Rastek in YouTube channel. In the previous video, I have explained you about the addition probability, the statement and proof. So now let us see the problems on the uh, addition theorem of probability. So before going to the video, so if you are new to this channel, so please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be getting an update whenever, whenever I upload a video. Let us see the problems on addition theorem of probability. The first problem is a card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of cards. What is the probability that it is either a spade or an ace? So here you may get a doubt that how do we identify the problem that it is based on addition theorem of probability. So well, I'm going to tell you that it is an addition theorem probability problem because here it is the question is being asked for two events related to two events that is probability of getting either an ace, either a spade or an ace. So if you are getting either a either or R in the question, either or R in the question, let S be the sample space. Therefore, n of s is equal to 52. Why? Because there are total number of 52 cards in a pack. Right? There will be total number of 52 cards. So, n of s is equal to 52. So, let us consider that A be an event of getting a spade and B be an event of getting an ace. So, A union B is getting an event of spade or an ace. So, union means union means or union means or event of getting a spade or an ace and a intersection b a intersection b means and intersection means and so it is an event of getting a spade and ace so here a union b is event of getting spade or an ace okay spade or an ace and a intersection b is event of getting spade and an ace so therefore probability of uh, getting a spade from the total number of pack of cards is 13 by 52. So we have 13 spades in total of 52 cards. So we are writing the probability as 13 by 52. And now P of B. P of B is equals to 4 by 52. Why? Because we have total of 4 ace cards in total of 52 cards. So 4 by 52. And P of A intersection B. P of A intersection B is event of getting a spade and an ace. So spade and an ace is ace means 1. So we have will be having 1 card and total there are 52 cards. Okay. So by addition theorem, we need to find that we need to find the probability that it is either a spade or an ace. Either a spade or an ace means so we need to basically find out a union b probability of a union b right a union b. So so probability of a union b is p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b. So p of a is we have thirteen by fifty two and p of b is 4 by 52 minus p of a intersection b is 1 by 52 so that is by taking the lcm common lcm 52 and 13 plus 4 17 17 minus 1 16 16 by 52 further on solving this we will get 4 by 13 so let us move to the second problem the second problem is three students a b c are in running race so a and b have the same probability of winning and each is twice as likely to win as C. So the probabilities of A and B are twice as likely to win as C. Okay. So we need to find the probability that B or C wins. We need to find the probability that B or C wins. So B or C wins B union C. As I have told in the previous problem, we need to recognize uh, this as additional problem because in the question it is considered that it is said it is being said that we need to find the probability that b or c wins okay so to solve this we need to get, write the given data so by data p of a is equal to p of u p of b why because a and b have the same probability of winning okay and p of a is equals to 2 pc why because each is twice as likely to win as c okay p of a equal to 2b 2 pc that implies that implies p of b also p of b also 2 pc okay why because p of a is equals to p of b both p of a and p of b are equal so p of a value and p of b value is same so we have p of a plus p of b plus p of c equals to 1 so p of a value we got it as 2 pc and p of b value again 2 into p of c plus p of c as it is so is equal to 1 so so 2 plus 2 plus 1 so it is 5 in, 5 into p of c equals to 1 that implies p of c equals to 1 by 5 okay so that implies p of a equals to 2 by 5 why 
so we got p of c equals to 1 by 5 so if you write uh, 2 into 1 by 5 2 into 1 by 5 we'll get it as 2 into 1 by 5 is 2 by 5 and similarly p of b is equals to p of a so p of b value is also 2 by 5 so we need to find the probability that b or c wins so the probability that b or c wins is p of b union c that is equals to p of b plus p of c minus p of b intersection c so probability of b and c is 0 so if we substitute the values so 2 by 5 plus 1 by 5 minus 0 we will get it as 2 plus 1 3 so denominator common we have so 5 3 by 5 